Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today, we're going to make tacos. First recipe is going to be all vegetarian. I'm going to use some dairy, some cheese. Um, and then the second one, I'm going to just do all vegan tacos. Uh, you could always take out an ingredient, mix it up, uh, use frozen veggies or use fresh veggies. up to you, whatever's easier for you. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. To begin throwing out the mock meat, just pour some hot water and let it sit there for 15 to 20 minutes while you begin chopping the vegetables. So we're going to finally chop half of a tomato. And then we're going to saute the tomato with the onions. You won't be cooking the avocado so I highly recommend you wait until the end to cut it up or else it'll ripen too quickly and it won't taste so good. In a frying pan add some oil, I usually use olive oil then heat it up to medium heat. Once they have been slightly golden now that's when you add your mock meat or vegan meat. Now you start adding your spices, here I'm using uh, my taco seasoning and I use smoked paprika, uh, but if you don't have that you can use regular paprika, but smoked paprika gives it that tangy, smoky taste. And then I'm adding ground cumin and salt to taste. Once the spices are added, we will mix it all up so the spices spread evenly. Now that everything's cooked, it's a good time to cut the avocado in half and then cut it into thin slices. And now you can start cutting up the limes into small wedges. Once everything is done, heat up a separate pan without oil and place your corn tortillas on top. Uh, once they have softened and are foldable, flip them over. And once that's foldable, then they're done and you're ready to make tacos. For the vegetarian tacos, you could use the traditional Mexican cheese, which is the panela, which is part skim cheese. If you don't have this, uh, you could always use the shredded Mexican cheese. And if you just want to make it vegan, then you could always use your vegan cheese and or a vegan sour cream. I'm not really into sour cream with tacos, but it's always an option. Sorry, I forgot to record how to put the tacos together, but as you can see, the tacos on the right side are the vegetarian ones, and the ones on the left side are the vegan ones. And now we will move on to the vegan recipe. Except for the cauliflower, we're going to dice up our veggies into little squares like the ones I have here in the picture. We want to chop the cauliflower into little florets like these. If you want to keep the trunk, you can throw it in. If you don't, that's perfectly fine, but you just want the florets to be really small like these. So, once you added the spices and the veggies are cooked, we're going to lower it, lower the temperature, and cover it, let it simmer for one to two minutes, and then we can heat up the tortillas. So the way you can find out that the veggies are already done is trying the carrots, because the carrots are the ones that tend to cook a little bit longer. So once these are soft, or the texture that you want, you can go ahead and turn off the stove and you're done. You can heat up the tortillas. Once the tortillas have softened and are foldable, flip them over, 
and then you're done you can get the tacos ready i didn't use avocado online for these tacos but they go great with any type of tacos and there you go so the traditional mexican way is that you would take a lime and sprinkle it on top that's optional um, and also sprinkle garnish it with cilantro i love cilantro i would personally add more but i'm out so i only have a few so this is the final look this here is the vegetarian one we have the mock meat the, the cheese that i crumbled with avocado and then this is the vegan side which is just all veggies but like i said um, if you're vegan, you can always use a vegan cheese and just replace it or take out any vegetables you want, add it in. So I hope you like my video. Please subscribe below and hit the notification bell. Um, I plan to continue this series maybe once a month. My plan is to upload it the first Friday of every month. So stay tuned. And yeah, I hope you enjoy my tacos.